So we begin with the um, steady state energy equation. So we're saying uh, in the nozzle area here, so just at the entrance to the nozzle, the energy going in is going to be equal to the energy out. And this is the steady state uh, energy equation. If we assume uh, that G Z um, is equal on both sides, uh, we can transpose that equation and, and that's what we get. The change in enthalpy then is uh, just the change in, in temperature. So we have a, a value here for the velocity of the gas at the nozzle. If we assume that the velocity here at the entrance to this nozzle is, is very small, that will go to zero and we're left uh, with this equation. Okay, so CP then, uh, well we know that gamma is, is the ratio of CP to CV and we know that R is CP minus CV and just changing around that uh, expression will give us a value for CP which we'll put back in here. Okay, so once we're there uh, we um, we know that from the universal gas law P by V is equal to uh, MRT but this is the specific volume so it's just RT. We get an equation for uh, RT8 and RT9. So we've R by T8, T9 and we can uh, substitute P8, V8 in for there. All right, and then uh, we know that in an adiabatic process, P by V to the power of gamma is a constant. So we can get an expression for a V9 over V8 from this, and we're gonna put that back in. And then this equation becomes uh, this equation here. So we're gonna divide both sides um, by gamma RT9, which is the speed of sound. And uh, um, put that in. So we have the speed of sound squared on both sides. And C divided gamma RT is the Mach number. So this is the Mach number here squared. So we're going to substitute that in. So there we have uh, our Mach number. And start reducing that e equation. And we get RT9. And we know that RT9 uh, is equal to P9V9. Again, that's from the uh, uh, universal gas law. So we can substitute that back in. Then uh, we have p by v to the gamma is a constant in an adiabatic process just rearranging that equation we can substitute in here for v8 and v9 and then we just uh, bring um, the p8 p9 to one side and just tidy up the equation so that's where we're, uh, that's where we're at but at the critical pressure okay when it when the nozzle is choked uh, we've just hit the speed of sound so the Mach number is equal to one so I'm going to substitute one in here instead of instead of uh, m9 and that's uh, and that's what we get and then this one here is just the same as two over two so two divided by two is one and then we just add the fractions and we get and uh, we get this expression. Um, I'm not calling it P9 anymore because it was at M is equal to 1, so I'm calling it the critical pressure. And I'm just going to rearrange it, so I'm going to flip the, the fractions. And that is our equation, or as we would see it, the critical pressure is P8 uh, all over 2 divided by gamma plus 1 to the power of gamma over gamma 1. So that is, uh, that is how we get the critical pressure uh, very fast. You won't need to to derive this, um, but uh, I just want to show you where it comes from. Um, so we know that P9 to P8 to the gamma minus 1 is all, all over, is, sorry, we know that P9 divided by P8 to the gamma minus 1 all over gamma is equal to T9 over T8. So P9 to P8 is equal to T9 T8 to the gamma minus 1, which is this guy here. So therefore, we can say that the, 
the uh, critical temperature to T8, so using this uh, ratio here, is equal to 2 over gamma plus 1. So that gives us the, uh, the equation there for the critical temperature. Okay, fast and furious, but it just gives you an, an insight into uh, where this comes from.